Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What is going on, everybody? How are y'all doing? Thank you for watching the video, bro. Before we get started, you already know. <laughs> Let me stop rhyming. All right. Give it a thumbs up. Like, 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 like the video. Come on, man. You know it's fire. You know it's heat. Like the video. All right. We have some dope news for this video. We have a couple of news items we want to talk about, some of which I didn't talk about because I've been on my George Floyd soapbox, which I still am, Black Lives Matters. But let's talk about this PlayStation 5 news. Apparently, the console has been leaked, the console design. Now, why do I have a PlayStation 4 Pro video playing? Because you're about to find out. All right. <coughs> This is coming from metro.co.uk and the article says, I'm going to share the article that I'm going to share my thoughts. We'll finally be seeing some first party PlayStation 5 games uh, that will be announced soon. Now, because of the whole George Floyd and uh, all of the Black Lives Matters protests, shout out to all the companies for standing with Black Lives Matter. Shout out to Nintendo for finally say something because I was feeling some kind of way. And so thank you, Nintendo um, and everybody, every, <coughs> the, um, the support for what's going on. And so the PlayStation 5 event, the, the reveal has been delayed. Here, but check this out. A Russian magazine named Game Mag has apparently received some leaked information from an anonymous American developer regarding the console's look, which has been translated by Gaming Bolt. There have been plenty of leaks and rumors about the PlayStation 5 design, with some suspecting that it'll look very different than the other PlayStation consoles. However, the developer says the opposite stating that it will have a traditional design now for those of you that's been living under a box for the last uh three um uh, or 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 so months the xbox series x uh that trailer i'm trying to get the trailer up you would have thought i would already have the trailer up but the xbox series x the design of that console is not i repeat not your traditional console design it is it looks like a miniature pc bro it's more vertical than horizontal check this out this is with the playstation 5 the developer says that it will be a traditional design though they didn't provide specifics they described it as a box with rounded edges and that it will be twice as thick <coughs> as the PlayStation 4 Pro. Now, the PlayStation 4 Pro is thicker than the PlayStation 4 original. And so, see that Sony's just getting thicker and thicker. So they're saying that it would be, again, it would have rounded edges and that it will be twice as thick as the PlayStation 4 Pro. When I think of that, I think of a MacBook Mini. Um, I think of a Mac Mini uh, and how they're shaped. Um, let me go to, I'm, I'm trying to get a Mac Mini up to. Um, they have more of a rounded edge. Um, and so very well, very well, it could be Similar to a Mac Mini. This is a Mac Mini right here on the desk right there. I just showed it. It didn't show the full console design. Come on, trailer. You failed me. Um, and so according to this article, it's going to be twice as thick as a PlayStation. This is it as a PlayStation 4 Pro. Bro, this is my PlayStation 4 Pro right here. It's all connected to the wires. Bro, 
It's going to be twice as thick as this. That is a thick console. Hopefully, it's not as wide. Because if it's as wide and as thick, that thing's going to be a beast. So, that is what the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 is rumored to look like. Twice as thick as a PlayStation 4 Pro with rounded edges. But, bruh, there is more news for this video. Sega's big announcement. <coughs> At first, we thought it was the Game Gear Micro, which we're going to talk about as well. But, it seems it's, it's now revealed, confirmed, that Sega's big announcement was cloud gaming for arcades. Now, if you're living in the U.S., you're like, and you're 12 or 10, you're like, what in the world is an arcade? Believe it or not, there were times <coughs> where people didn't primarily play their video games at home. They actually went to a big room that had a whole bunch of cabinets with video games that you could play. I'm for real, it's, it was an amazing concept. And it gets even crazier. You had to put in 25 cents to play the game. You're like, what? What kind of what kind of nonsense is this? Yep, that's how we used to play video games. In the West, in Japan, they still have arcades. Arcades have gone the way of the dinosaur in the U.S. for the most part. You have arcades still in places here and there, but they used to be everywhere. And so arcades are no longer in the u.s but in japan they're still big and so sega is launching a cloud streaming service for japan where the games when the arcade closes you could go home and still play the same game you wanted to play at the arcade in your home nobody cares in the u.s all right all right sega sega that's a fail that's a fail sega we are not hyped for cloud gaming arcades in the u.s and to further elaborate on Sega's failness, this video, I just invaded that word, failness. It even has a magnifying screen. Oh my goodness. Bro, I already told y'all about my experience with the Game Gear. Go check out my other videos. Um, I had a Game Gear as a kid. It was a, it was a battery guzzler, bro. It used to last for like five minutes, and then you had to buy new batteries. I had this as a little kid. My dad bought this for me. The Sega has announced a Game Gear Micro. Bruh. I was waiting. I was wondering to see, okay, what's going to be the price? Not so much the price, but how many games. Look how small this thing is. Oh, my goodness. How many games would be included in this thing? Only four games. Four games per Game Gear Micro. They are forcing you to spend $50 on each of these things. <coughs> Rip off. $50 for this little thing. For a thing about this size, for $50. And it comes in four different colors. Each color has four different games. What a rip off. And I think they're selling a separate magnifying screen. What a rip off. Sega must be out of their mind, bro. Next news item, Fortnite. Fortnite Season 3 has been delayed. It has been delayed. I, bro, you would think I had all of this up already. Um, it's been delayed again, again, again. Um, they have come out with an official statement um, because it's been delayed before. It was delayed from May 20, 28th. Uh, and now it's been pushed back to June 15th. And so June 15th is when Fortnite Season 3 begins. Again, for the whole George Floyd and the protest that's been going around globally, they're respecting it. Another country that it, um, company that is respecting it is um, um, Rockstar. GTA Online and Red Dead Online will shut down for two hours to honor the legacy of George Floyd. Uh, this is coming from a tweet from IGN. Um, this is something that the companies are doing. So I got to respect that, bro. Um, what are the, the times? It's going to be from... 
Nah, they ain't really doing this. Oh, okay. I, I was about to say. Yeah, that at first I thought it was 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm like, that ain't a protest because ain't nobody going to be playing. Bro, it's from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Respect because dudes will be on during those time periods. So they're shutting it down for two hours to pay honor um, to what's going on around the world. So thank you, everybody that supports. Y'all remember, Black Lives Matter. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound, my son, my, <coughs> hey, my son was waiting. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click, click that, that subscribe, subscribe button. button. Stay, Stay up, up to date. All oh, things gaming. Bro, we out, boy. <laughs> you still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi1Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.